All right. We are at the Ohio State University at the Rothenbuehler Bee Lab, uh, learning how we keep bees safe because they pollinate a third of our food, which is amazing. And uh, these little guys right here are coming in, bringing lots of pollen on their on their hind legs, on their pollen baskets. And uh, this is amazing. And they're cool and they're really, they don't actually hurt you. You can get pretty close and they're not gonna bother you. Just don't swat at them. We are PhD comics. And we wanna know why. Today we find ourselves at The Ohio State University, visiting the Rothenbuehler Bee Lab and talking to volunteer beekeeper Dwight Wells. Um, I don't know whether you folks know, there's a lot of problems with honeybees in the United States, around the world really, uh, due to uh, varroa mite. It's a parasite. It's around the world now and uh, it kills, eventually kills the colonies. Since the 1950s, the number of honey producing bee colonies in the United States has decreased by over 50% an unexplained phenomenon called colony collapse disorder. Why is this important? A third of the food that you eat has been pollinated by a honeybee. Or, I should say, just a honeybee. We need the bumblebees, we need the leaf cutters, we need all the different insects. There's a food chain here. If you don't have pollinators for alfalfa, you won't get the alfalfa seed to plant the seed to get the alfalfa hay for the milk cows. Scientists aren't sure what's causing this disorder, whether it's environmental factors, a fungus, a virus, or a parasite. Oh yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to take on the world, one bee at a time. They may be a little bit testy here, so just be careful. Okay, I'm not gonna move. <laughs> uh, and what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna bump the bees off. Don't swat at them. They, they, they can see fast motions. They cannot see slow motions. If you would uh, pinch them, uh, or if you got into their colony, and uh, they're, going, they're going to defend their home. Life lesson, don't pinch the bees. <laughs> the best thing you can do is just back off, back up, and get away from the situation. You're fine, you're not gonna get stuck. Honeybees are not native to the United States. They were brought over starting at about 16, 21, 22, 23, like that. They were from Germany. I had no idea. Uh, yes, uh, the colonists brought them over. When the Indians had it by themselves for bumblebees and the leaf cutters, and there's about seven or eight different major uh, groups of pollination. This is amazing. I have never watched so many bees. And if you look at a bee close up, which most people don't because there's only two things they think about a bee, getting honey from it or getting stung by it. <laughs> but if you look at a close up of a bee, she's a beautiful individual. I'm trying to make sure that my great grandkids, great grandkids still can eat what I eat today. In the syllabus system, you know what's going to happen at the end of the session. You know you're going to progress onto this next level because that's what you've been told. 